Hey guys, everything new and fun here. Does FireWire 800 cable, does a FireWire 800 cable resolve Drobo disconnection issues that is seen in the Generation 2 Drobo when using uh, a USB cable? We are about to find out. So I got in the mail this. I'm not going to show the other side of it. Uh, it has my address on it. This is a FireWire 800 cable. Currently I have connected the USB cable here. So I'm going to disconnect the USB cable from the Drobo. And uh, that was disconnected from my iMac anyways. And I'm going to crack open this FireWire 800 cable. Now this is my first FireWire 800 cable I've ever used. So I had to buy one. Got it off. Uh, eBay, eBay or Amazon? eBay, I think, for I think it was seven dollars. And so it's straight from China. Firewire 800 to Firewire 800. There's a three foot cable. It's a little short, but I don't think I need to run it too long. And uh, the shorter it is, probably the better for speed, anyways. This is just going to be um, an extra space drive for my iMac. I'm going to use it actually for video editing. Um, it is not going to be a backup drive per se, although it will have some redundant options on it. I have a Netgear Stora for general backup. So, first I'm going to plug this in. I've never looked at a FireWire 800 cable before. So, sure hope this is the right cable. I think it is. So I think I can just put it in either, either slot. I guess you can daisy chain these guys. Yep, and it slides in right there. Perfect. I'm going to go back to the uh, back of the Mac here. And we'll slide it into my only FireWire port here. Again, I've never used this before, so... Perfect. Beautiful. That slides in nicely there. Make sure it's snug. And that should be enough to wrap around under my desk into this... Uh, what do you call it? This shelf here. So I'm just going to leave it there. So now I'm actually going to plug in the Drobo. And uh, so the, the issue with... Um, <clears throat> come over here and... Oops. Share, share my screen here. So the issue with the Generation 2 Drobo, this guy here, if I flip this around, of course, is that it has uh, real, real disconnection issues on IMAX with USB 2. And I've had the same trouble with this. Um, it will stay connected for maybe two minutes, if that. And then if you do any data transfer, or there's any communication, the Drobo will just completely disconnect, and uh, of course the Drobo dashboard uh, will not, uh, you know, it will disappear from the Drobo dashboard, which is this software here. So I can't see any Drobos because I've not powered this up. So I'm going to power this up now with FireWire 800. Let's see if A, FireWire 800 works on my iMac, which it should. I'm excited about that. B, See if it resolves the uh, disconnection issues. The Drobo website itself says it does indeed completely resolve the disconnection issues. So, you can see this guy is booting up here. Now, we should see it pop up on the monitor once it uh, comes to life here. So, it's got a green light for the power, and then this, there's a little transfer uh, LED over here that flashes when it's actually transferring data. It's not booted up yet though because otherwise um, these 10 LEDs on the bottom which you can't see will show the capacity and then these lights show the health of the drives. So we're I'm hopefully gonna prove that a FireWire resolves the uh, Generation 2 disconnect issues. I really hope so because this absolutely does not work with an iMac with USB 2 which is disappointing but uh, I was glad that the website at least said uh, the disconnect issue was not an issue with FireWire. So like I say, we're, we're about to test this out. And so the, the hard drives are online. I've got three green lights. So I've got nothing in the third port here. The reason I have this space is because the, uh, the door was broken off the bottom one, so I just put a stuck a drive in there. So it's thinking about it, and it has connected. I can see it over here on my iMac. And so we're waiting for Drobo Dashboard to see it come up. Still transferring. 
Let me click around here just to refresh it. Should see it now anytime. There it is, Drobo Disk Pack. All right, so right now, so far so good. I've got connectivity. This thing is showing transfer. It's still not showing data used, which is odd, but anyways. Um, this shows 900 gigs free, 461 gigs used, and the firmware version is 1.42. The firmware version of the Drobo disk is a 2, uh, so the Drobo dashboard is 2.8.1, I think, and there is an update for that. So I'll probably download that. So right now, I'm just uh, looking to see if it disconnects. It is not disconnecting so far. Here's the capacity. Can also show that usage chart, but this kind of nice circle is nice. So I got all this white space to use up basically, and I've only got one volume. It's uh, formatted for HFS, which is for IMAX, uh, you know, for Macs in general. 16 terabyte limit it is, but I've only got um, a total of 2.5 uh, terabytes in there. So far, this is good. So I'm going to try and transfer some data to it. Let's just see what happens if I click on here. And uh, let's go into some of my archive videos here. And I'm going to try and uh, send some data over to it. Put the camera down for a second. And uh, so this is coming off. I'm transferring from my SSD, which is the main drive uh, for my iMac. And let's see. So right, right now I'm just storing my videos. I don't really care if these get lost and it wouldn't it wouldn't be a heartbreaker if my videos got lost. So an item named a vlog already exists. Okay, so keep both. So it's transferring 7.68 gigs, if you can see that. Four minutes estimate remaining. Should go pretty quick, like I say, with the FireWire 800. So far I have not lost connectivity here. Let's check the Drobo dashboard. This looks good so far. Transferring data. Now by this time um, this would have disconnected already with the USB 2. It would have already disconnected. It's looking good. I'm not super impressed with the speed but I, I don't have a benchmark to compare it against. It's showing five minutes to transfer eight gigs, which seems a little slow. Um, maybe because this one's uh, writing to various drives and doing some configuration, although it's not blinking orange or anything. But like I say, this is better than it has uh, worked before. And I do notice um, the little blue lights on the on the dashboard show three lights. But on my Drobo, there's only, there's no light showing there, which is odd. So I'll put the lid back on here. Oh, just as I say that, you saw the, the three lights came up there. So it must have just been tallying. Put the lid back on, and there you can see the three lights on the bottom and the nice green lights. So looking at this, it's still transferring. That is a really good sign. Like I say, normally by now this would have disconnected and just given up. I would have seen a, you know, a, a, a USB disconnect thing, you know, you, know, you disconnected uh, the USB incorrectly or something, uh, forced disconnect. This is great. So I'm going to close the dashboard and start it up again here. Looking for Drobos, looking for Drobos. And so it does show a new release. So I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and install this update and see. I don't know what's new in this one. This might take take a while. But it did show, it did come up, so that's a good thing. And like I said, this is still not disconnected. So let me see. Yeah, it's still going up. That's a win. That's a, I'm going to call that successful. Um, you know, well, I guess we'll see if I have any issues over the next week or so. Uh, but this normally disconnects. So I'm just going to let it do its thing and, and download this file. I'll come back to you when this is done. We can see. Uh, I don't know if there'll be anything new to look at in the uh, dashboard, but I'll wait till it's done, and uh, I'll come back on video here just to confirm it completed, and to confirm it's still uh, still connected to the the iMac.
and to confirm if everything is good. So I'll see you in a second. Alright, so I've started the install of the new Drobo dashboard here. I'll just take you through this for interest sake. And uh, continue, yes, yes, agree, install, and writing. So we'll just see if this uh, does anything else. I still see the Drobo up in here. It did finish the file uh, transfer. That is great. So I was able to offload some from my tiny 256 gig, uh, gigabyte uh, SSD, which is my main, it's the main drive that runs this iMac. And then for my for my uh, data, I use a, I was using a toaster unit, actually. I was actually using uh, this unit over here, if I can pull this through. Uh, and this is a little 500 gig drive, so it has my iPhoto album on it, but of course I moved over to the uh, to the Drobo. So I'm going to restart the unit here and uh, and see what happens. So this is still connected. I put the Drobo down in its shelf down here. It is uh, showing 30% used of my space and I've got all green lights. Now I am rebooting it so that usually fixes the USB disconnect issue. Um, but I needed to do that for the uh, dashboard software. So uh, we'll come back and uh, we'll see if it starts. And we're back from Reboot. Um, everything is kind of popping up here again. And the Drobo is attached. I see the icon over here. Double click on that. That is connecting. Seems nice and snappy so far. I've got all my YouTube videos there. So now what we'll do is uh, we'll pull up the Drobo dashboard, see if that connects up here. This is the new version, 2.8.2 and skip that. I already registered that so I don't know why it pops up with the registration again. So Drobo is connected over here. We'll see. Yep, okay. It did come up and see it. Perfect. So I've got my Drobo. I'm on uh, firmware 142. Let's go to, uh, let's see, check for automatic updates. That's fine. Check for updates. I'm just going to check for updates in the Drobo software. Drobo has the latest versions of the Drobo dashboard and Drobo firmware. All right. That's good. Although I have heard that uh, the, the website sometimes has an even newer version that it doesn't uh, suggest. And in, in down here it says Drobo is healthy and has sufficient capacity. No action is required at this time. So that's great. So I haven't lost connectivity yet and uh, not even a a hint of connectivity issues. So I would say that uh, confirms it guys. Um, the oh, one last thing I wanted to do was start up my iPhoto album and because the iPhoto album pulls off my data drive. Let's just see if this uh, comes up here. Like I say, the iPhoto album is looking for a, a drive called data which is what I call the Drobo. That was the same name as uh, this little guy here. So as long as this isn't powered up it won't conflict. And like I say, my iPhone is, is drawing directly off my my Drobo. So if I peel this off, we should see lots of transfer happening, which is that LED, and we do. Put on that nice big neck front there. Genius. So this is trying to start up iPhoto, pulling off the Drobo. The Drobo seems a little bit slow, to be honest. I'm not sure why that is, but speed doesn't so much matter to me because I do my editing on the SSD. Um, as long as this loads up, and it looks like it is, that is perfect. So, 52,000 photos, 1,700 videos, so that is good. So far, that looks good. So, let me, I'm going to go to, I'm going to make, make the photos small there. That's great. So, it loads them all fine. Uh, let me check some other albums I have here, see if it loads these. And I got the uh, the spinny bouncy ball of death here. Not nope, that looks good. Let me go to one of uh, one of the albums here. Fantastic. That looks like it's working. So it's able to pull off my my hard drive, uh, my Drobo. Let me I'll show you the iPhoto. So the iPhoto album is uh, just right here. Actually, it's that guy there, um, and it appears to be working fine. So that is it. I think that's confirmation, guys, that uh, 
that it works. Um, hopefully it will stay up, but I haven't seen any hint of uh, disconnect uh, connectivity issues or disconnects like the USB was showing. And this is showing all perfect. Guys, I got this thing for $10 off eBay. The guy thought it was broken. Um, I think maybe he was having USB disconnect issues because apparently they show themselves on, on the newer versions of uh, OS X. Um, but uh, so far as I see, this works great. And you've seen it. I, it hasn't disconnected once. Uh, whether I've had the camera going or not, in between, it's not disconnected once. And it is showing the active interface being FireWire down here. So that's kind of that's kind of neat that it shows that. So that's success, guys. FireWire resolves your USB 2.0 disconnect issues. That assumes you have the USB FireWire version, which is uh, uh, the Generation 2 Drobo, which is what I have. And it totally fixes it on the latest OS X version. I've got a 2010 iMac with the latest version of OS X. Um, and yeah, that looks good. Let's check uh, about this Mac here. And we'll go to storage and see if uh, about this Mac shows the storage. There you go. You can see um, my SSD up here, 255 gigabytes. And you see the Drobo data showing a total of 17 gigabytes, although I don't have that much in there. But it shows 200 gigs of uh, movies, 161 gigs of photos, and 109 gigs of others, and backups 8.4. Technically, and it shows a FireWire disk too. Technically, I could use this for my Time Machine backups. I, I won't be doing that. I'm, I've got a Netgear store down the side of my desk here with a couple of terabytes of drives in it. Um, so I think this is going to work excellent for my general data usage, real-time usage. And it will provide some uh, disk failure protection. Of course, if my Drobo dies, then I'm out of luck. But that's why I've got my Netgear Stora backup uh, NAS as well. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope you found this useful if you're having the USB disconnect issues. And I have confirmed uh, that uh, the FireWire uh, connection does resolve the USB 2.0 disconnect issues in the Generation 2 Drobo. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Hope that helps. We'll see you in the next video. All right, guys, we're about six hours, maybe seven hours later, maybe eight hours later, I don't know. Six or seven, anyways. And uh, the Drobo is doing excellent over the new FireWire 800 cable. It is plugging away there. It's occasionally flashing the transfer light. And I got 30% used um, out of the 1.8 terabytes, I think. We'll bring it up here. And of course we've got the Drobo icon on the right hand side here. If I pull that up, I can see it. It's still connected. It's never dropped out a single time. So this is absolutely fabulous. Um, so I now have a working Drobo. Um, as I suspected after the first go, I just wanted to give it a couple hours to try it. I've done a time machine backup and uh, it uh, got it all backed up. I've transferred a bunch of new files over to it as well um, from my S. Uh, SSD to uh, clear up some space and I was able to get that all ported over there too. Um, it does seem just a wee bit laggy. I'm not sure why that is but the uh, the Drobo might have been doing some uh, data moving. Um, regardless it's totally acceptable for what I, what I need it for. Um, I don't, I'm not going to stream 1080p videos off it or anything but uh, you know it, it streams videos anyways. I'll go to uh, one of the, the files I have here go to my Nefrage one and so this will be streaming right off uh, right off the Drobo here if I press play so that's streaming this is a 720p and I'll load up another one it's a 1.4 gig file and uh, get them going at the same time so two 720p videos going at the same time and I don't see any jitters I noticed one jitter when I was uh, doing a backup though um, but it was just for a second and then the video kept going so certainly not interrupting but there you go two 720p videos going no trouble off the uh, off the dribble and you can see the uh, transfer button is flashing like crazy there of course as it uh, plugs away loading data um, but that's great so what we'll do is because um, you see they're both working perfectly there and we'll go to the uh, Drobo here and just have a look at the Drobo click on that and just to just like this kind of follow up, I've got uh, a 500 gig, uh, one terabyte 
and another one terabyte in there. Different. I think the I got a Seagate, and uh, I think I may have two Seagates in there right now, actually. And I think the 500 gig is Seagate as well. One empty slot, and I have. Uh, let me close off these videos here. I have a total 1.33 terabytes of space, which is a, a big improvement over my 500 gig of extra data space. So this will last me for quite a while, and I'm still underneath my uh, two terabyte limit, which I need uh, I, I need to be under for my time machine back. So I only got two terabytes of space there. Um, when I need more space, I'll probably get buy a two terabyte drive. Um, a couple of two terabyte drives for my Nick Yerstora and use that for my time machine backup and uh, put the extra one terabyte drives in here and uh, you know in place of the empty slot and the 500 gig and that should up my uh, space here to you know 2.5 or something uh, but honestly um, I'm only I do about um, you know maybe a, a gig uh, video per day not even that like a lot of these file sizes are you know, 500 megabytes, 300 megabytes, depending on how long the, the video is for my YouTube channel. Um, so, not too big. I'm not going to fill it up real soon. Um, but it sure is nice to have some a reliable, uh, somewhat redundant uh, data, uh, data, uh, what's over storage? That's what I'm looking for. Uh, direct connected data storage. So, super happy with the Drobo. We'll see how long it lasts. I did refurbish it a bit. I cleaned it up quite a bit. Um, but yeah. So far, it's working like a charm, and I really like it. It's a, it's a really cool unit, and on FireWire, it's just to, to use that extra port is really satisfying because I never had any use for the FireWire port on my iMac, 2020 iMac. So, so if you're looking to get a Drobo, they are not cheap, but I, I got this one dirt cheap uh, because the guy thought it didn't work. So if you can find a deal like this, then definitely go for it. It's kind of a really sweet tool, uh, but uh, it is not uh, a backup device, though. Um, you need uh, at least three copies of your data at all times. And I've got a copy of data on my Drobo, my photos. I've got a copy on my Netgear Stora. And I've also got a copy on uh, my 2.5 inch hard drive, 500 old 500 gig hard drive. Uh, so all three have the same copies of photos effectively. The, the 2.5 gig hard drive has um, an older data set, but not too old. I, I wouldn't lose a lot if I lost my other two main drives but uh, that would be a lot of failure happening so I've got them on a UPS as well for surge protection and uh, on battery uh, backup as well so I can shut them down properly should the power go so there you go guys um, this was a video on how to uh, fix your USB 2.0 disconnecting issues and it the uh, the fix is just to go firewire if you've got the port on it so it worked for me and it is flawless throughout the day and so I'll leave it there guys thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video